Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll lead you step by step through the ABRSM theory grades. We're progressing nicely through the grade three theory. So if you want to grab your grade three music theory and practice workbook, there are lots of resources to help you. If you go to my website, if you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets available for you. They're in US letter or A4 and they'll accompany each step of this series. All the information that you need to know will be found within these sheets. There's also a page with links to my YouTube video tutorials and you can access information about the books that I have available. If it is that you're working towards your theory exam, I've written a book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam. It's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for that exam and also how to best make use of the exam time once you're sitting the exam paper. So if you go to SharonBill.com, it's all there. If you can give me a like, that'd be really encouraging to me and subscribe to my channel, then you'll keep updated. Let's crack on then. And so we're going to carry on with section D. So if you turn to page 10 in your music theory and practice workbook and we're going to be looking at aspects of transposition. If you turn in your sheet and the PDF sheets to section D, there's some information there as well to help you. Everything I explain to you will be also written on this sheet here. So let's have a look at section D. Have, make sure you're only ever writing in pencil and then it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. I've got a propelling pencil here to keep it nice and sharp. If you're using a traditional pencil, just make sure it's really sharp. So really, transition just means moving notes up and down, changing the position of the notes whilst keeping the melody the same. So we're actually changing pitch now. We're only going to be moving in terms of an octave and we'll be transferring clefts as well. So just as we've had to do before, we still need to keep middle C as our anchor point. However, from that anchor point, we now need to change the octave that we write. So exercise one asks us to write each of these melodies one octave lower in the bass clef. So we've started in treble, we're changing to bass and we need to change the octave by an, uh, an octave lower. So in this first example, we are given the G above middle C and we need to change that into the bass clef and it needs to become the G below middle C. And so if you keep middle C as your anchor point but then change the octave accordingly. So if I just give you a start on this next exercise A and then you can have a go at that yourself. So just get your stave set out, do all the things that don't require any thinking. So we're going to be going to bass clef remember. Transfer your key signature down into bass clef. Everything drops down a line or a space. There's your time signature. We can even start with the rest. So then let's think about this now. Here's middle C. We've got the E here and then it's the next E above. So we're actually two E's above middle C. And so to change this into an octave lower, we still need to be the E above middle C, just one above middle C. So we're going one, two, three steps above middle C. And so if we transfer that into the bass clef here, let me make a bit of room because we're going to be in ledger lines. Here's middle C, D, E, and this is the E, one octave lower than given, but now written in bass clef. That's your starting note. And so if you just now change all of the intervals accordingly, and keep that as your reference point. So if you want to press pause and have a little go at that yourself and then move on and try this next B exercise as well and then we'll go through those together. So I'm hoping that you've had a little go of that yourself. It doesn't matter if you've made some mistakes, we can always erase it and have a go. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. So now we're going to go down a third, so we're going to go down to C, and because the octave's also dropped, this will now be middle C. And then we're going to go one step above the note we started, so we need two ledger lines. Okay, now here we're going to go the B below the C here. So now we're the B below middle C because we've changed the octave as well. Next door note, C is middle C, 
D and then back. That should take us to the E that we started with. We should be in the same place that we started. And now we need an octave lower. So this time we need this E here. So I've just read that is from E to E. However, if you weren't sure, you'd have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that will give you your octave. There we go. Okay. And then now we've gone up one, two, three, four notes to the A. One, three, four gives us the A there. And now this was the A above middle C. And now because we've dropped the octave, this is the A below middle C. So we know we're in the right place still. Carrying on in step. Next door note. Next door note takes us to the C. And that should be... Uh, here we go, middle C here because of our octave transposition. Carry on a step higher. Same note again, tied up a step. And we can double check that that is the same as that, so we know we're in the right place. Down a third to C, so that will be middle C. Oh, my ledger line's gone a bit wonky there. Next door note D. It's quite a lot of notes here, so try and keep your notes aligned so you don't run out of space. So now we're going the other side of C, middle C to the B. Next door note should be middle C, D, E, and then our last note drops down one, two, three steps, so we should be back to middle C. There we go, so we just need to add the stems. By all means, use a ruler. If it is that you're not sure you can do it neatly, I'm just trying to be quick here for you. Keep the beaming as they've put it. Oh, I've gone too far there. There's semis, an octave drop. We've got to change the position of the stems, although this... There we go, because we're now high up in the bass clef. So all the rules for stems now still apply, and we have to reapply those. Let's um, get those semi-quavers in place. This is the easy bit, really. No thinking required. I think I'll use a ruler. And there we go. <coughs> to excuse me, this cough. Okay, let's have a go at this next one then. So just give your brain a rest and we'll just get all of the nuts and bolts in place. Just get the mechanics of the music laid out. Keep it, your bar lines aligned and then you know you're not going to run out of space. And you're also not going to get lost at which part of the music you're on. So we're going from treble to bass. So transfer your key signature, drop it down a line, there's your B flat. There we go. So here we go. At present, there's our middle C, that's our anchor point. We're on the A above middle C. And so now to drop this an octave, we need to be the A below middle C. There's our middle C, and so we'll be here. Okay, and so this note here is C. We've gone up three, and so that will take us to middle C now. That's an octave lower, but translated into the bass clef. Back to the note we started on. Now here, that's the C. We've gone above that C one step higher than the D. Back to that same A. Back to the C. So just keep a track that these aren't going to sort of suddenly go a awry. So here is the G below that A that we've just written. And then we've gone up three steps. One, two, three. When it's line to line, it's easy to That's just three steps away. And we're one below that C, so we know that we're correct. And now we're on the E, three steps below that G that we did. Alternatively, you can just count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. 
back up three, one, two, three. Oh no, that's wrong. Something's gone wrong. No, no, I'm right. I'm changing clef. That's right. And then we've got an A. I forgot what clef I was in then. Next door notes. It's very easy to get confused. That's why you always just keep checking. So there's the B. This should be now. There's C. So this should be middle C. Next door notes. So we know we're correct. Next door again. D. Next door again. E. And now. We're going up three notes from E to G, so we're going to need one, two, three ledger lines. Down a step. Now here, this is the A that we got started on. So that takes us all the way to there. And we can double check we've gone right because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know we're right. And then here we've gone one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we know that we're right here because there is that same note. So we've gone in the right number of steps there. And then just to finish, we've got C. And because we're an octave lower, that's middle C, of course. There we go. So just add your stems. All of these stems are going to go down because they're all higher than that middle line. So the stems are going to be the same. Oh, yep, all the same. Going up in step, so the beaming is a bit diagonal there. And then going down, so there'll be... Oh, just use a ruler here. Just trying to be quick for you. There we go, and that's that. I hope that's been helpful to you. If you can give me a like, if you've enjoyed that, that'd be fab. I'm really enjoying it. I hope that you are too. I love music theory. Give me a subscribe so you stay updated. There's loads more to come, and please do go to SharonBill.com. There's loads and loads of resources there to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.